All right, I'm here with my guy, Sergio. Always holds me down at H-Town. GTD, American Dope. Now, uh, you, let's start off and we'll go back into your history personally because you're a true Houston representative. People know who you are. You're from a lot of different parts. We're going to get into that. But yeah. um, you have a personal tie-in with the Prince family. And uh, oh, yeah, for sure. first time I got introduced to you, it was somebody was telling me about uh, you You were uh, with Drake. And that was when the feds really are trying to just make up something about Jay Prince. And he told you not to go in the club. Or just tell us your connection with, with Jay Prince family. Oh, look, man, it was just bullshit. I don't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? It was just like Drake had an event. It was my brother Junior birthday party like a year ago or so. But it was just, you know, niggas knowing them boys in the building. You know, them boys in the building, you know what I'm saying? Where it get around. For no reason, they're just start, they're just fishing, <laughs> nah, right? It's a high club out here, so like they be in there probably trying to catch D boys and shit. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? They was just in there, you know. I just got worried to move around. I moved the fuck around. Them boys did jump out in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I was just you know, it wasn't my time. <laughs> and your your mother and Jay Prince had some what they grew up together, or like what's your guys? Yeah, yeah my mama from Fair Ward. You know what I'm saying? Originally, Phil Wall, Liberty Road. You know what I'm saying? All my family. You know what I'm saying? Big just like the Prince's family. You know what I'm saying? Like the Smiles. You know what I'm saying? Like all the way from Phil Wall to Trinity Garden to Acres Home. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was born in Acres Home, raised in Trinity Garden all my life, but I was going back and forth, you know, due to my mama being on drugs. I had to go into prison. We got to move with my granny and TG, you know, Phil Wall with my cousin, you know, all that. But yeah, I'm all north side of Houston. And where where is for those is is Fifth Ward on the north or south side? Yeah, it's on the north. It's on the north. It's like northeast. And that's one of the oldest. I think that's like one of the two or three oldest black urban neighbors in the United States. And my knowledge, yeah, besides Acres Home. Yeah. Oh, that's another one. So Houston yeah, Acres in home, general, Acres Home is like it. It always be an argument. Acres Home and Fifth Ward being the biggest. If you ask me, they about the same size or oldest though. Oldest Audi, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Fifth Ward originally is the oldest. Yeah, okay. Because, you know, the wards come from around downtown and shit. That's where it started and shit. But, yo, Acres Home been up for a minute, too. It's just Fifth Ward probably got a little bit more population than us, if you ask me. And what, um, so you, you're, you're kind of work in the music industry. You're an artist. Yeah, I started out, you know what I'm saying, coming up under my brother, you know, Slim Thug, Jada, all Paul Wall, all them. And you've been on Slim, Slim Thug albums and... Yeah, it's on YouTube. You can, oh, shit, like back in 99, 2000 and shit, you know what I'm saying? I've been rapping with them. Oh, so you were, what, damn near t what, early 20s? Yeah, yeah, that was early. That was back then, you feel me? <laughs> that was back Nah, they were not no 20s. I was a teenager. Oh, you was like 19 or something? No, I'm like 15 at the time. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is back in the gap. We tripping, yeah. <laughs> This back then. And and how did your, so your mother grew up in the Fifth Ward and. You know, it branched out Trinity Garden with my grandfather and them. My grandfather from Fifth Ward, my grandmother Trinity Garden, they, they they got married. So, you know, my family was on both ends and they migrated to Acres Home. You know what I'm saying? Well, I was born in shit, you feel me? And you, you uh, unfortunately had to serve a significant amount of prison time but it, yeah, I, you yeah. showed me a picture when you were 16 is that the first time you went in yeah 16 certified too now what was the story behind that man you know me and some i was in high school niggas fucking with me you know what i'm saying like older than me you know what i'm saying they thought someone was weak i whooped the nigga ass you know born in jail doing time behind the shit you know what you mean? Got a fight? yeah man they made it something major than what it was you know how they gonna look at it and i was young I didn't know, and you know, back then, they get lawyers and all that shit. It just, it was fucked up for a nigga then, you know what I'm saying? The car they would deal with me, I had to run. Wait a second. So, for a high school fight? I went to prison. Wow. For how long? Three years. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. This is the Texas. One of the minimums. The Texas, uh, well, I think Texas, Texas, maybe in Mississippi, up. got like the highest percentage of the population goes to prison. So it's a pretty, it's like yeah, a, Texas fucked up, it's man. a law and order state. Yeah, it's fucked up here. Yeah, they got their own rules and shit. Man, what? You, nigga like me, nigga like me came home and just because I was in the wrong place at the wrong time, my prize convicted me the second time. You feel me? So like. So what, you good out when you're like 19? Yeah. And yeah. how long were you out? 
man, like 30 days. 30 like, days? <laughs> what yeah. was this? Tell, tell us the story. Yeah. Like me and my homies, them fighting some niggas and shit in the hood, and I'm just there. But I, I stopped the situation because I'm like, chill, I'm trying to, the, you know, my, I went down, I'm kind of wise and there. So I'm like, man, we're trying to get some money, bro. Y'all chicken, it's going to do that. The little homies and folded it, and the nigga went down, and he said my name, or prize convicted the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so what did you, you got charged with that time? Assault? Gang assault, again. Oh, gang assault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gang and assault. I, and, and when, you, when you're going into the, what's the Houston court system? So this is a city with a yeah, large coming. black population, but is there many black judges or like what? It's biracial. Is that, yeah, does that actually, help you at all or is it, man, doesn't yeah, matter? Nah, that shit don't matter. See, I ain't giving them no information to help me, so. She here now nah, ain't gonna help. You just you gotta get that money, get your lawyer, fight for you. And uh is is man, that's what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, so so for true fights, you so see that sign they be putting on No, so there was no shit, it wasn't shootings. Hell nah. I think I broke kid jaw or something. You know what I'm saying? But That's the first time. Yeah. Pretty yeah. boy, if everyone who broke somebody's jaw when they were sixteen got three years in prison, there'd be a lot of people in prison. You feel me? It just I guess his family pressed the issue because we both were still in high school. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So what did you get the second time? Another three years. And did you go to a medium that time? Nah. Stayed at minimum. Yeah. What's te so a lot of people like hearing these prison stories. Tell us what what was Texas yeah. prison, like in the minimum, is that kind yeah, of different? I ain't gonna lie, like it ain't, it ain't like how they try to make it out on TV. I was sixteen, I went down there and rocked that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, by me being, you know, you know what I am, I gotta rock out. You know what I'm saying? I'm a member, so like niggas play with me the first day I got there. I, shit, I learned this shit up. You know what I'm saying? I just show from what I know from the streets. You feel me? And got my paper. Ain't nobody fuck with a nigga after this. So the second time you did three years. So at this point you get out, you're like 22. Mm -hmm. What's going on? You you mentioned your mother having some substance abuse problems. Does this continue? Oh, shit, baby was clean by then. Baby had been clean already. Okay. Excuse me. Baby, baby turned into a hustler now. She went from using to doing this shit like slanging and put me in the game. You feel me? And that's how I came. I ain't had no daddy in this shit. That was my mama and my daddy, you know what I'm saying? So when you say, so this is a long, so this, this, you get out in 15, so like 08 or something, you get out the second time. Yeah. yeah. And you're 22 mm -hmm. or so, mm -hmm. and my mama's clean, and when you say, so you and her were kind of, what, working together, or she? Who that? Mom. You said she yeah, put yeah, you yeah, in the Yeah, 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 yeah. Me and my T-Lady, we always did like that, but... I fucked around and caught another charge, you know what I'm saying? Went down for like two more years. What was this charge? Another assault, man. You know what I'm saying? It just, man, I just, I always seem to put myself in fifth up position. Well, do you, do you have a, um, do you feel like you have a out of control temper? I used to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, looking back, do you feel like all those situations were appropriate? Like, would you have not done it or? Or was I mean, it, did you overreact? Change, did you change, overreact? I don't change nothing. Yeah, I mean, probably if you from the outside looking in, because if I get into it with a person, I'm gonna take it all the way there. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it yeah, always been with me. Well, where did that come? Yeah, it must have seemed like the nigga on the other side that do the bumping is the nigga that go. You know what I'm saying? Tell on the nigga and shit. Did I, I remember mean, cool nigga? I stayed to myself. You know what I'm saying? Listen, nigga, play with me, then I'm gonna take it up. You know what I'm saying? Did did that? Come out of something in, in in childhood. Did you have to really uh? What sometimes if you have a big family, your own family members make sure you are intense. Ain't too many people in my family that like me though. Like but you got a big family. I got a big family. <laughs> yeah. But okay, did you? Where did that anger come from? I guess it's just from me being raised by my T, seeing my T going through shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got beat in the streets with my mama when I was five, you feel me? She was a beautiful girl, you feel me? Yeah, they kind of, they kind of, they kind of fucked me up in the head too. The nigga got taken by CPS and all type of shit, you feel me? Mm. So like, you know, it kind of fucked me up, you know what I'm saying? But a nigga learn how to, you know what I'm saying, just look over that type of shit. Bro, fatties. 
So it, it so in, before you got in trouble though, you were able to meet and get in with uh, what SWAT switch house. Yeah, I was tied in with them through you know what I'm saying just like my bro Slim and J Dog. You know, How'd you meet them? J Dog means J Dog from the same hood. You know what I'm saying? Go Where's Slim see. from? Slim was Slim originally from Acres Home by mistake, but he grew up on Homestead too, so he was like back and forth like I am. Trinity Garden to Acres Home. He's like where's home? Is home says North Side? Northeast, North next to Field Walk. Okay, you know what I'm saying so. He's like we're still family though. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. And and um, what did you? Slim was already when you met him. He was kind of pop. What? He was already hot. Them niggas was in high school were just coming. And they was school. truly independent. He was. <laughs> he made a lot of money yeah. selling CDs and ice. Cream. Yeah, but see, before I was rapping, I was hustling. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm before my time. Like, them niggas was in their area with them. I'm under them, but I came up under them. Like, my bro J. Dollar, Mario, and all them and stuff. You feel me? So, like, I'm in the streets with them. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, like, not even their age. Like, just my mama being a hustler, passing it down to me, let me do what I do. You know what I'm saying? So I was outside with them, so they leave me. You know what I'm saying? So. I kind of ran with them too, you know what I'm saying? But it was it was kind of hard because I still had to go to school. They was out of school, you feel me? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, it was it was it was bold though. And Houston, just like say the Bay Area, those were the two cities that had a real successful independent music scene where people were making a lot of money. And Texas is so big, you could just be big in Texas and no one else ever heard of you. Yeah, they were saying, Texas big itself. Uh, did you learn or get you? That was your first exposure. Well, you were young. So during your first exposure to the business side of the music, did you get interested in the business aspect? To be honest, I wasn't even focused on the business then. I was like just doing it because it was fun. You know what I'm saying? Then niggas started seeing money out there. Shit, I'm like, oh, this shit really can change the nigga life. You know what I'm saying? We just fucked up. Nigga had to sit down so many times. Did that, did that break your momentum, kind of? It kind of did. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You got some niggas out here speeding. <laughs> you niggas lyric out here. You feel me? So I just probably feel like I just need to just wait my turn. I got that spark back, though. Fucking with my homies. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my nigga Trey 100, T Tone. You know what I'm saying? Big Tony, you know. They kind of put that spark back in. Oh, I know Big Johnny is. Yeah, yeah, my boy. <laughs> uh, what's tell us about the 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 uh, for someone not from Houston? One of the few things we heard, the two things we might have heard about is screwed up music, the lean culture, and the North Side South Side thing. Tell us about the lean cut. Like, what you know? What, what, did you have a time in your life where you were drinking lean? I'm sure it was a lot cheaper then. Look, yeah, man, I. My mama was the drink lady in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Her, her little home girls and she, you know, her little crew, they used to go pop drink doctors all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. in the paid bills. So I was drinking that real act shit back then, 9899, nine, nine, when that shit was $20 an ounce. No ounce? Yeah, it was $20 an ounce. Man, 180 can get you a whole pint. You know what I'm saying? But they were sending like eights. I'm lying. 180 will get you an eight. It was a half pint, right? Yo, a eight. You know what I'm saying? That was back then. My mama was sitting there. And how did that, I mean, this is a long, I mean, I guess people know how to do it. Like, that would be just you go around and different doctors who are right through a script or you do I fake scripts or you know I don't even know how they do this shit. Okay. But I just know. Because they only like, if you got a prescription, a pint is only like 20 bucks or something, right? It would be so easy going there, motherfucker. I guess tell them you got a little coffin. He is. You know what I'm saying? You can't sleep with it. You know what I'm saying? But see, that shit, they tighten up, man. That shit changed. Did you, did you ever, did you feel like you ever had a problem with it? Or did a lot of people have a problem when it was so cheap? Man, I was addicted to that shit. I'm kind of glad it's hot in the motherfucker right now, so I can't even fuck with that. How are you finna do it? I need your love. All right. Uh, <laughs> they got some other shit right now. That green shit put a nigga down just as well. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that, does that have codeine in it? Or that just got promethazine. Man, I don't eat. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. When did you notice it start, like, the rest of the country got interested and the prices started going up? Really? When I came home from jail, I seen, like, everybody, went, and I'm listening to music in jail, it's everything. So I'm hearing people rap about it first. 
And I'm thinking in my head, like, damn. Because during Slim, like when Slim Thug and all that came out in 99, they was probably doing it, but they wasn't really talking about it too much. Man, they was doing this. Well, you know, it was out here, out here. It was going down with that all. Still is today. But I'm saying it was more. Everybody, I didn't think everybody was hearing our message about this shit, but then I started hearing, like, they was. You, I started seeing, like, little magazines and blogs and shit, like, people around the world fucking with this shit tough. And I'm like, man, this shit really started out here in the H. If you really think about it. Because you go to other places right now, they still don't like this shit. They give this shit away. It's a gold man. I don't know where they giving it away at. See, but you know what I mean. For the cheap, for the low, low. I don't know. It's pretty damn expensive. Because if you can yeah. get it somewhere cheap, you're going to yeah, send it somewhere it else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to never get that. So did they can't, is that made or they just trimmed it down or they totally ended it? Man, they just switched on me and motherfuckers coming in with that shit. I don't even know. As long as it makes dollars, it makes sense. So mom was selling and she had it like a, was it, was women normally who sold it or just dependent? Really, where I was at, most of the women was going to the doctors and shit, getting the pills and the drink, you know what I'm saying? And hustling like that, like the women. I ain't never seen no men really doing it. Oh, really? Yeah. They see an old, old school person or something. It was most of the women when I first was around that shit for real copy. So it wasn't a, if, if it was more serious street people might go to the women to get that. So it was like a, 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 a relatively safe hustle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they know it was sticking up yeah, the lean lady. Everybody was doing it. Okay. Nobody was sticking up the lean lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mama wasn't having this shit anyway. Ain't nobody sticking wet to me. <laughs> um, so when you get out in 08, do you get back in with the music or? I, I I wanted to, but I kind of had lost a spark for it, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, no offense to nobody, and you're like, I really want to feel you. But niggas was talking about out here in the city. Which was what? Nothing. They were saying nothing around about that time, you feel me? Like, and then, you know, just to be honest, too, like, I got a lot of homies around me that really wanted it. And got it, you know what I'm saying, that I was focused on. So is that when you started kind of getting in on the on the, the back side of like helping other people and moving, helping yeah. people move around? So and, still like that, you know what I'm saying, because I still got the passion for it, you know what I'm saying, no matter what, it's always been in me to be into this, you know what I'm saying, this rap coach. I love it, you know what I'm saying? When were you first introduced to anyone in the Prince family? I been fucking with Jamie, you know what I'm saying? That's my little bro. You know what I'm saying? But my mama was tied in, you know what I'm saying? With, with senior? Senior. Oh, everybody. Oh, he had brother and all that stuff. Yeah, all of them around, you know what I'm saying? My mama got ties with my uncles too, you know what I'm saying? It's just my uncles did their own thing too, you feel me? What, what, when do you remember the first time you uh, were introduced to the to senior? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was crazy. What age were you in, roughly? Man, I was young. I was young. That nigga was in the Rose Rush, though. You're like you were like 12 or something? I probably was young in that. I was I was with my mama. We was at like a little block party. You know what in what, in Fifth Ward or Acres Home? Yeah, oh, Fifth Ward. Okay. In Fifth Ward. Because that's where I'm from, you know what I'm saying? We out there, it's like that nigga pulled up. I seen a big ass grill on the car. That bit was a rose rice. So I would tell me. Unlike uh well, he's he's good for he really always stayed in tune with his community and all that. Uh yeah. did you see him doing stuff, being helpful to the to the to the fifth war community? Yeah, I mean like all the time, not even just to his hood, to like everywhere in Houston. Like even when I was young, I remember when I used to wake up. It wasn't nothing, you know what I'm saying? The day before, and I wake up, it's toys everywhere. Rap a lot on it. Mm. You see me? Like, because it's a poor community, like Fifth Ward and. It's an outstanding Trinity Garden. Oh, it's public housing. Nah, this is like the hood. It's just like Fifth Ward, just right next door. But I mean, it's low in, it's yeah. people yeah, poor yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, all over. So kids, if they didn't get a present from Rap a lot, they might not have got one. Probably so, like us, like me. 
You know, even Thanksgiving, turkeys wrap a lot on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what well, nigga wouldn't think they want to go have nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's crazy, because sometimes it'll be that day of, you feel me? Yeah, he, he always reached out. And did he, like, I don't know if you can buy a church, but he, like, he has some church to sort of, like. That probably was before my time, but I know. He, he's in the church. Yeah, he's a God friend of me, yeah. That's, that's all I know. And did you, you think your mother must have, did she, are they, like, the same, roughly the same? Or she's a little younger, probably. Or not? No, they the same age. They're the same age. So they might have went to school together? They went to school together. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, they went to school together. They were the same age. And she would have been living my mom past. Oh, saying, condolences. Yeah. Oh, she well, she went kind of young. Well, I, well, because you know, living their fast life. Yeah. Does does the the lean has a a bad health effect? I mean, there's been a few Houston legends that <laughs> that passed from that, right? Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I been think they had some lot of shit going on like that. I've been I've been drinking that shit for years. That shit don't fuck with me. Yeah, but you might have never been like hella on it that like some people on it seem like heavy yeah, heavy. Yeah, I was doing this shit back then before my time. So your body might have might have evolved to Yeah. So you was doing it before you even ate grown up, bro. Sometimes yo, like when I <laughs> when I was young, when I got older, when I was still sipping that shit, like before I went to jail, when I went to jail, and then I was in that hell detoxing. Oh really? Yeah, thinking about this shit. Did you feel sick? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Did you know that's what it was from? I know that. <laughs> My mama used to tell me, what well, the drink get coming off of your ass. And that's what she tell me. Because she was the drink lady. We used to sip that shit all the time, man. Like, that's still all around the world. Like what? Back then when it was cheap, I mean, how much was someone drinking? It? Would you drink an eight in a day or something? Bro, we was pouring four liters. We were in, a, in a two liter, we were pouring eight in that motherfucker. Like niggas or six or something. You know what I'm saying? And that would be for how many people? Probably like five, six niggas, man. We oh, were sipping that shit hard. I'm okay. done. You feel me? Like that two liter gonna get everybody a nice little cup. You know but then you might do. But oh, I mean, we were young. Too. We was young too. Gotta to understand. I was young doing this shit with my partners. Like we used, my partner, we were like 15, 16 at the time. We hustling to go in on a, on like a half or eight. You know what I'm mm. saying? Sometime. Mm. So we sipping at school and shit. And we sitting. <laughs> we, we were wild, man. <laughs> Did you ever, um, let's see, so you never got in any trouble for hustling, it was always for a violence? No, 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 it was violence too, but you know, that shit, like I got jammed up for dope cases too, but like I have another case with that hoe, so. Mm. Oh, maybe that's why they hit you kind of bad. Yeah, and then like, that shit, the aggravated shit, he that shit up, they don't care like the other shit. They're getting dizzy, sign for these, and race that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Tell us about the, um, What's the difference between, and you don't have nothing negative, just what, there must be some difference or separation between the North and South, in your opinion, what is that? And you're somebody that's thought to have, like, been, you good on both sides, you know, you yeah, bring I mean, it together. It used to be like that a long time. Oh, it's not like that. No, nah, it ain't like that at all. Not no love, but it used to be like that. What was the, the is it a different kind of, Different income level, different kind of people. I did I didn't know why the whole beef started or whatever. But I know it was over some it was some bullshit that you asked me. Probably over who got what kind of head lifestyle that you had. Mm. Now so I had Does braids. it go from the seventies or something? Or eighties? No, now so I had braids, now so I had fades. Oh wow. <laughs> it's a lot of this. I don't know what the original beef is, but you could, that's how you couldn't tell. Oh, so even, oh, people's fat, you could tell physically, like, oh, they from here. To yeah, here. yeah, 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 yeah. It was, I don't know, it was different. Is, is it a, is north side where the most of the lower income, or there's lower income on the south side? It's everywhere. It was the same everywhere. He's, yeah. It just was stupid. Then you figure out Houston's so big, we could come together and everybody, you know what I'm saying? Who are some of the rappers from the south side? Because I, I think, like, God. Paul Dina, DJ Screw, he was the Oh, DJ. they were from the South Side. Yeah. DJ Screw, okay. Kiki. Ah, okay. So a lot of them. Flip, Zero. Trend. Oh, that's yeah. a trend. Oh, they're all from the South Side. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, where is Scarface from? South Side. Even South Side. Okay. Scarface, K for D in the face, too. All them South Side. What's some of the neighborhoods in the South Side? 
got South Acres, South Union, you got all that over there. But then you know the South, South, South side go like, you got Herb Clark, you got the West, you got the Trey, you got Fort Ward. You know what I'm saying? It's big. It, it spreads like all the way to the Southwest. You got it, got Mo Beatty, you got everything. <laughs> Fort Park, you got it. Man, the Southwest big. So it's just like the North and the South, it's just a, fleet, a freeway that split us 16. Mm. It's stupid. You know what I'm saying? So when did that die down? Probably like. When when story when uh Slim and ESG did they do it? You know what I'm saying together. And ESG started. was part of the screwed up clip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about brother. Yeah, yeah, when did they? What year? Were like roughly like nine, not two thousand. Oh, so by the time you started being around the music, that's when it was kind of coming together. Yeah, I was fucking with Southside niggas for photo music. You know what I'm saying? For them niggas, well, I was listening to their music. That's what I used to hustle off of. Oh, so their music was there was the they were the lean music more so, or everybody was. Not only just dead, they both was on some lean shit, but it was like they more was like talking about some shit. They really were doing some shit, like they was on some shit. And outside I was really on some shit too, but like I don't know, it was different. It just was a different stilo than me. I'm just always open to any kind of music anyway. So it's over, and you're out. For the third time, and you managed to stay out for a while. Then, yeah. what's do you yeah. get? What, yeah. what do you start doing? You start doing some, you start moving around with the yeah. industry people or yeah. hustling, you know what I'm saying? Doing my thing too, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just helping my other niggas around me and shoot, you know what I'm saying? With their music, you know, and it's just went from there. Who's some of the first um, bigger artists that you, because I mean, you're not. You say not like officially like a security company, but you always seen with different people. You somebody that people might tap in with when they come to Houston. When when did you kind of get that status? Oh, you know, just fucking with the ties. You know what I'm saying with the mob. When did that name mob ties get developed? That's Prince Junior's thing, right? That's recent. Yeah, that's Junior. You know what I'm saying? Jay is a shit. Oh man, yeah. you know, old man got rap a lot and shit. Junior. When did you start to build a closer relationship with, with old me? I just always kept in touch because my mama always let me know the history of, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, their relationship, you know, so I always kept in touch and he always kept his arms around the two. You know what I'm saying? He didn't love I always were. I always be. Uh, when did, do you remember the son? The sons are what, younger than you or the same yeah. age? A little younger. No, nah, about a year. A year or two. You remember them as a kids? Uh, right? Mostly, yeah. Just Junior, really, mostly. Because me and Junior was tapped in. Y'all always been tapped in. No, it's just on some friend, friend type shit. Yeah, like my bro, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get it too, like real brothers and everything. But you know, that's my bro, man. And what's the difference personality wise with him and Jazz? Is there a third brother? I mean, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how many it is. I know it's a few. It's a, it's, a, it's a few. They're the two heavily know, in the I music. Know both, I know all of them. No, they family to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But those are the two that's heavily in the music. Yeah. It, all of them. Yes. And jazz, for people who don't know, this kind of discovered, semi-discovered Drake. Nah. D. Yeah. D. Do you remember um, Prince Jr. and jazz must have always been? Were they like at the clubs trying to promote? Were they working with artists? Like... I mean, they always did their thing, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they fall in great footsteps over leaving, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, yeah, they was always in motion with the music, doing their thing. That's how I got tied in and hate them for the little junior and shit, you know what I'm saying? And jazz. Well, everywhere we went, you know what I'm saying? It was always like, we in the, like, we with the, we with everybody. I just tied my own relationships, you know what I'm saying? You know, me being a gangster, you know what I'm saying? They gonna fuck with me anyway. I wasn't trying to put on for nobody. I just sit back and wait my turn to play my position. Do you remember when Drake first, like, did you know that a Houston, you know, someone you were connected or, you know, as Drake's career blossomed, did you kind of like, oh, damn, I, you know, I got a connection to that? <laughs> Man, it was crazy because, like, I met him with jazz. And we just, a little spot prospect park, you know what I'm saying? 
Santa is like, hey, this is my boy, Drake. I'm like, damn, I'm listening to this nigga, you know what I'm saying, all the time. And I'm like, I was a fan at first. It, oh, so by the time you met him, he was starting to bubble. Yeah, hey, yeah, it was just not finna pop for bro. Like, well, it was already popping, like, but it wasn't there, there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, he was he like, the biggest he, thing going, huh? Yeah, 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 his family was family. So so he's got a, a cool personality? Yeah, he's a peeper. He good people, man. <laughs> And he, like, he embraced me like a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't even count. Like it's, he was the real ones in my book, you know what I'm saying? Like that nigga for real. Like what he rap about it, what he doing? Like it was time lawyers and they come to see couldn't pay itself, bro came through. Mm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they wanted the real was all Oh, lawyers in the commissary ain't gonna pay yourself here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, for real. So you wanted to be what he was talking about. Man, so it like I don't know if he would talk about it. But I mean, you was in that yeah, category yeah, of someone yeah. he helped. I out. feel like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro, one of the real ones, man. It's a couple of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I even fuck with Dolph, you know what I'm saying? Dolph, me and him got our little relationship, key lock. I fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? And you Freeze met them time. from tapping in when they came to Houston, or you met them around the country, or a little bit of both? Both. Traveling, you know, because you've yeah, like so. I met you in LA, like you travel doing work with like artists or just being with artists, such with the top ones, like you know what I'm saying, you know, say fucking around with a GTD, you know what I'm saying, like for real. Me, some of the top ones, Lucha, all of them. Oh, why, I've been Lucha, you know what I'm saying, like I didn't meet them all, bro, like, yeah, yeah, they hold a person, I probably ain't made probably Jigga. What's who, Jigga? Oh. I fuck with 50, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with a lot of people from the East Coast. I fuck with all of them. French Montella, that's my boy. Where'd you meet him at? I met Frenchy. I met him in Houston. I met him in Houston, then, you know, I always be going everywhere. So everywhere I go, he'll see me. Oh, what's up, bro? Like, he always just kept real. He wanted the real to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, same with Future. Then, yeah, I met Future, well, I think I was in uh, and none of them I met future. Would you say that not, like a lot of the people, there was that era of like the uh, studio gangster, but now nah, I mean a lot of the guys that, cause you, if you're not liked and don't know how to move around and interact with people in different cities, you're not really your career, especially if you're talking about, you know, wild stuff, people gonna feel that on you and like, not, most of those guys are re like genuine, you know, they know how to operate with different people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But nah, they good. Like, from my nights, how we was moving, like, he different. You know what I'm saying? Everybody grow apart, though. You know, I got my own shit, too. You know what I'm saying? So, I kind of don't be with the other party no more, but it's still love. You know what I'm saying? We don't talk every day, but it's still love. Yeah. So, it's 08, 09, 010, so you're doing good. And then, did you have to do another trick? Yeah, I had to deal with the puck out of the piece. So that adds up to how many years? <laughs> Twelve years or something? Nah, we ain't yeah, like I ain't even counting niggas, you know, niggas right. catching the in betweens, but nigga beat them, you know what I'm saying? So, Ozo County Jail and all that. Yeah. Out about 12, 13 years, bro. <laughs> yeah. I know you're sick of that. Man, bro. Lord that. So you, when you were traveling the country, was that as part of like Drake's sort of entourage or what would you I'm not, I mean, I or Jay so, Prince I mean, or something. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, you know, with pops in there, but like, you could call me Drake Entourage too, because see, nigga stepped over yo, like, I go anywhere, they gonna, like, they gonna treat me family. I don't need no tickets and shit. They gonna come give me, mm -hmm. you know, I'm able to follow a car. You know what I'm saying? I just the choosing what which one I'd be wanting to go to. Yes. You know I got shit going on too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um,. What do you guys? So when did you when did you first make your first kind of song that came out? Well, I <laughs> I did a song like a while back when I first came home in '08. You know what I'm saying? Then I mean, it did well for me being from here, you know. But I don't think it was my time then. You know what I'm saying? Because they already had a wave going. Brother, he tough man, J Dog. You know what I'm saying? He ain't no lock. You know what I'm saying? So I just sat back and waited my time, man. You feel like that's coming out because the new new music sounds good. 
For me, I've been grinding, bro. I've been staying prayed up, just trying to keep it coming, you know. Unfortunately, you got, you got to record in the apartment here. <laughs> yeah, for real. They bring the studio to you. No, for real. It's, it's, I'm going to be all right soon. I'm going to be all right soon. Um, let's see. Let's go into some... Um, let's see. Oh. Houston is uh, like Texas is my number one state for viewers, but I've never really interviewed any any former uh, people that was in the underworld here. But this this got to be a place where it's been a lot of uh, a lot of. But people haven't heard about this stuff. Who's some of the uh, people from the past whose names might have been in the newspaper is known as like the big whose names you would hear in the street back in the day, not you know back when. You mean like. Just period. Just well, just as like, you know, like street legendary type people. Shit. <laughs> hard to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kinda hard. Kinda, kinda like, tricky. Yeah. He's from the big city, bro. It's a lot of people they talk about, you know what I'm saying? But man, I'm one of the most <laughs> man, I don't even want to go too deep, man, but you know, I'm outside, bro. Just right Did now. you ever ever have to um, mediate any situations for any big rappers calm anything down? Or yeah, a couple times. <laughs> I mean, you know, I be having ties with niggas, man, and like I'd rather see a ass whooping than a field any day. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. Without saying the rapper's name, what's any any kind of like? How does a guy get himself in a twist? To where he, you know, in another city where you have to like, oh, or you're maybe even just moving around. You just got to know where you at at all times and know who meets you, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't one of the guys, stop moving like you ain't. You know what I'm saying? Because a nigga will make a phone call and figure your ass out quick. You feel me? Like, I done, I done been in a bunch of these niggas mix. Not even trying to be, you know what I'm saying? But just the times that I got with people, I'm an artist man to rock out, you feel me? And that's just the loyalty I got for people, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, we were putting our names out there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so you, you've you calmed through the situation now. Now. Of course, yeah. When you were out in L.A., I even you took about, I think I went to the strip club. You was about 40 deep or something in L.A. <laughs> yeah, I rode with Stroller. Yeah, when I wrote. Didn't you guys have a name like the could Hollywood or something? Yeah, Hollywood Click. And what was that? Oh, some shit. My mama started. You know what I'm saying? Well, a couple of other big homies in my hood. You know what I'm saying? Like we was out hustling at one point. And you know, in my hood, so big, like different blocks got different cliques. You know what I'm saying? We was the Hollywood Click. You got the Die Hard Click. You got the Versatile Click. You got Tyg. You got. The young hollows, you know what I'm saying? Two for the grind. You got all type of things in my hood. The backstreet bread winners, you know what I'm saying? The money stretches. You got all these niggas, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, we still represent worth little. Acres home, you know what I'm saying? How big is Acres? Acres home's like a whole neighborhood. Like there's. Yeah, it's big. You got Drink Boulevard, you got all this shit. Drink Boulevard? Yo, my nigga Big Tony. Billy oh. Ray, Mr. Peace, Billy Ray, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo. Who, um, let's we'll see. What else? What else we want to touch on? What we want to tell? What's some good? What's some other good stuff we can touch on? <laughs> I know it's kind of. Oh, no. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, that's good. As you know, he said, you're saying shit without saying it, but that's cool. Uh -huh. I ain't want to get too deep on that. <laughs> yeah, we all we save some of Represent that Mongol stuff. Yeah. All right. So let's go back to Mimes, who uh, must have been a. Seeing, so you're young, had some bad experiences with her, but seeing her get herself together, that must have helped you, inspire you to always be strong. Yeah, yeah. When you say something happened in this, take us back, if you could, just briefly, what was the incident that happened when you were five? Oh, no, oh, my mama had all the niggas some money and shit, you know what I'm saying? And I had just went through some shit myself. I had got hit by a car when I was five, you know what I'm saying? Stayed in the house, we had a body cast for like probably like eight months. Oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? So I learned how to walk again. Like right when I was turned to six, I think my mama probably owed a nigga some money or something. A nigga whooped her in me. 
No, oh, yeah. in the outside. Yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so. Did yeah. the police come? Hell nah, my mom was on drugs. Me and my mom was really sick. I mean, somebody else could have called them. Yeah, but this back in the gap. Yeah, oh. A lot of us finna come there fast. We was walking to. What's the gap? Probably like, it's probably like early 90s. You know what I'm saying? I'm 37, bro. So. I'm like five, six years old then. And, I, and the, Houston's so, it's kind of like LA is so big. Yeah. But it's not even as densely populated, so you probably be back with some of them back streets, and it's I like you on your own. All I remember when we got to the highs, my granny, my granny was pissed the fuck off. What did make the guy hit you? Just that's how he was. Yeah. I'm a little free. I was a baby. <laughs> I ain't understand it. I just remembered it. Damn. Yeah. I that would that's probably the, that's definitely some PTSD right there. And she probably always felt bad about that. My mama always kept me close. And so she she got herself together when you were sick when you went away when you were sixteen. Yeah. No, before that. Oh, before that. Before that. Before that. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> she oh, been down a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? Her babies used to be out here tripping. But she after she came home that last time she had my baby sister. I think in jail. You know. She oh, when did break. she go to jail? for? Just slagging, slagging and oh. shit, you know what I'm saying, hustling. And not just smoking, you know what I'm saying, all that shit. But yeah, when she came home, she was like, she changed. She's like, man, let's do this. Yeah, you, mm. you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I just took her word for it and we rocked out. And she was always good after that. Yeah. Yeah, she got a rain for every year she was clean. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Did, um... Did, did she have a long illness? Did she die unexpectedly? Or? Yeah, my mama died from HIV. Oh, Boy, shit. You were using meters and shit. Oh, so she was really hardcore. Oh, man. You gotta understand. Man. No, that people don't know. A lot of HIV was, was yeah. intervening with drug use that really, that would pass it faster than anything. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of women, that's how women were getting it. Yeah, I know. Mm hmm. Did she know, like, how long Irvin mean, she had yeah. known? Yo, that's why she was, you know what I'm saying? She focused on just being around her kids, listening, or trying to be there as much as she could, you know what I'm saying? Damn, Damn. did she, did she have, was she sick for what time, or was she fine, and then she just... Mark, my, my mama and her friends all coming down bad like that. Mm. Yo. It's so they hear. Yeah, one gets it. If it's you and your friend, it's just like people pass a blunt. If you yeah. passing a needle like that, yeah, it was fucked up, baby. Mm. That's rough. So did was she and like she? Uh, I mean, when twenty twelve, didn't they have the pill regimen? You could get her. It was kind of yeah, too late. Oh, but if this was, was too too late, yeah. Well, R.I.P. Mama Sergio. Hold up, baby. Um, how did you get uh, meet up with the GTD guys and tell us what you got going on with them? We're gonna be me and you gonna be doing some work in Houston and get you off the tether and all Man, that. It's wild, cause like <laughs> we was in the club, me and my boy. You know what I'm saying? Down here? Yeah, it, it be loud. The first be loud, and then there was a little altercation going on, <laughs> and I I, I kind of stopped. You know what I'm saying? Cause me, me and somebody else still at the same, you know what I'm saying? Common bond. Yeah, and, and you know, and it just stopped everything. And we've been, we been locked in ever since. You know what I'm saying? Like 10 years ago, and then never left. And so both of your groups, or you and some of those, uh, be in those circles with the rappers and being in different cities and kind of. Yeah, my boy B. Security without being security, yeah. but then GTD has the actual security company. Yeah, my boy like me, time 10, man. <laughs> like, <for> real. <laughs> yeah, Bonnie, <honey>, huh? <laughs> for real, man. Like, it's love. <laughs> Damn, and GTD is big, though. And a lot of security, you know, they're they doing security for big celebrities and everything. I only, yo, they know who it is. It's about saying, you ain't got any, like, it's already overstood. Once you see that GTD, hey, don't throw the down. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't with this. And you helping them do that? So you guys got like the Texafornia project? Yeah, man, me and my nigga Freaky J, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm finna do this GTD movie, you know what I'm saying? Like, from Texas to Cali, Texas to Fortnite, you know what I'm saying? Cali to Texas, you know what I'm saying? Yo, we each other backyards, you know what I'm saying? We scratch each other back. And a lot of people from California moved, that originally come from Texas and Louisiana, right? Yeah. Yep. So there's an easy, easy buy and yep. probably a lot of family ties too. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, if not that, people are the same kind. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, you think the same, we're like bosses, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. When did, when did Junior, speaking of bosses, did, uh, did the mob ties thing is interesting, and of course there's a lot of publicity around it, but when I was uh, kind of just researching it, you know, even the name, I kind of get what he's doing, moving the bosses together in elevated structure. It's meant to be like people that are somebody in their city around the country, each kind of coming together for a higher, you know, not uh, structure in the terms of people can lean on each other for business help and support, right? Yeah, exactly. Probably, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I was I was part of the whole mob ties idea yeah. do you remember when when did when when was that I, when that i mean of course y'all were moving all like that all like but like when did that name I mean, first get thrown around i mean it's always been more times but like this it got more popular like probably like in 2010. oh so it's been a while yeah like because like oh and drake was always from the start of him getting popular here he was always my that that name was around Voice. Oh, okay. So we're just the public more so yeah, yeah, just hearing about it. Know. Everybody ain't know. Yeah, people who did know, some of them may believe, and then they want to hear what I'm saying. Do you remember, I know, maybe some of this is touchy or whatever, but like the whole thing with Birdman owing, you know, Houston businessman $20 million. Like, what, do you remember that whole, did you ever interact with them or what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I knew the. I knew about it, something about somebody owning some shit, but I would rock with old man or whatever. So I ain't give a fuck who it was. If it's about this one here, I'm rocking. You know what I'm saying? So whoever owe who, he should have come on with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, what, did you ever interact with Wayne or Cash Money or they kind of stayed out of here once they got going or? Yeah. I, I made way in a few times. Here? Yeah, everywhere. And you probably been to Louisiana a lot too, right? Or no? Yeah, I, yes. I fuck blue. That's another hole. Like, you feel me? What city? All of them. All of them. We got our friend Lucy, he from Alexandria. Hell of Hell Alexandria, as he told me. I'll be everywhere. I'll be everywhere. Bad wood. How's Louisiana? Louisiana's got a pretty unique culture. How, 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 you, you, how would you say that's different from Texas? It's 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 kind of the same if you ask me. It's just oh, a different accent. You know what I'm saying? They got they got coats like they little slang. They got, you know what I'm saying? But they say the same about us in Houston. Everybody the same country. What about Houston and Dallas? What's the what's the similarities? What's the difference? I fuck with the D. I always have. I always will. You know what I'm saying? I got homies out there in the D. Bounty hunters. You know what I'm saying? Like I fuck with the D. Even my crib partners and photos, Oak Cliff, you know what I'm saying? Where's Chap? I fuck with everybody in the deep. There ain't nowhere you can't meet some kids support everywhere, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with everybody out there. There's love. So Houston and Dallas got a connection anyway, you know what I'm saying? Chap, what, Freddy, you know what I'm saying? Yellow bees will be fuck with them niggas, you know what I'm saying? All them niggas out there. Chief, all them. What is, is, is there any. Like, not, I'm not saying anything bad, but like, is there a different, like, is it, um, different culture, different look, different? I mean, yeah, they got their own swag, but like, we can relate, you know what I'm saying? Because we saw what the same right up the street from each other, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Probably the difference only is we just don't, some of them, we ride swingers, you know what I'm saying? They, they ride inches a bit like more, but that's the only thing. What's that mentality? What, I don't know. Like, they, Okay, and swingers are the ones with the Boy, poke out. Yeah, 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 that's know. a Houston thing. That's pretty, pretty wild. It gets pretty extreme. Yeah. Big Tony's I mean, known, but he, he into that, right? Yeah. My bro, like with the, everybody kind of doing it now. Yeah. Houston, that's where it came from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they've been in the music videos forever. Like, Houston's got a pretty distinctive culture. Yeah. 
is the that da- I mean, are, they, they, they don't have those the rent the, the car thing is a little different there, right? Yo, let's see, that's how we ride. But then that it's all good. Do you remember when there's a lot of certain kind of LA influence here in Texas? Are you old enough to remember when that was kind of starting, or that kind of predates you, or that's always been there through the probably family ties? Yeah, I mean, I got family cooked from LA. You know what I'm saying? So, like I say, we always been in each other backyards. Like everybody, it always been like that. I don't know. Everybody got a plug in Canada. Canada got a guy in Houston plug. You know what I'm saying? It always going both ways with me. Um, my shop out the MSQ. Oh, so of course we will get to the, the the elephant in the room. I mean, you you were on uh, home confinement when the whole situ unfortunate situation with uh, Offset happened. Uh, yeah. And my only I only made I made one little post about it, and everyone's all these conspiracy theories about the Prince family. What I only thing I said was I thought. Maybe for Jay Prince Jr., if you're gonna, when you start having so many different people around each other, you gotta really take responsibility of, not that you want anything bad or you plan anything bad, but just everyone's gotta be really controlled. I mean, what what do you, what's, if you, I don't understand what's going on in the case right now, because it, it sounds like the guy that was Migo Benz pulled out a gun first, or... I really don't love a full story about that. Because you were in the house. <coughs> yeah. I just figured like he still till it went differently. It wasn't just a, like a predatory thing on them. It was some type <coughs> of weird argument, right? Oh, that's what I heard. You know what I'm saying? But send like condolences, you know what I'm saying? Because I fuck with bro too. So if- oh, you do oh, you knew him too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Migos would have been very comfortable. I mean... Houston's one of the cities, if you're doing, uh, you know, for black music, you know, Houston, Detroit, Chicago, like you have to, those are the biggest markets, so any artist is going to be down here a lot, so. Yeah, yeah, for real. What were they, what were they like? They were a little, a little younger. Oh, they, they got popular when they were young, huh? Yeah, yeah. They were like early 21 or something. I met bro and them, they was already popping. I was a fan of them, you know what I'm saying? The way they had <laughs> Oh, they were the big, yeah, they had a run, but they were the, some of the biggest shit popping. Yeah. Oh, Drake kind of, oh, wait a second, didn't Drake, he did the Versace, Versace Reads, like he kind of helped bump them up. Did they have some business? But that, that, no, but that made them like yeah. pop culture type. Yeah, it made, yeah, it made a big wave. Yeah. Did they, they got some business dealings with Jake Perry on them? I don't know. Or it's it's Drake, got, they tied it. Yeah, in family. Yeah, for my, cause what I know, for our, my knowledge, because that's how I mean. So there's no way. So just, I mean, not that I think this, but for the general public, whatever it is that went on that night, there's no way it was any. Hey, we're gonna press the me go like it just had to be Hell something weird. Nah. Yeah. Hell nah, I don't know. Something weird. I mean, anything, you know. Just some fucked up shit. Yeah, bad. Bad situation. I mean, you have a bunch of young guys, males around each other, and gut like it. You know, sometimes weird things happen. Yeah, a lot different. Well, you probably would have been there if you weren't on, on tether. It might have been. Uh, I would have. I would have been there. I would have. I know, but see, I probably wouldn't have been sitting there while everybody was arguing. I'm the type of nigga. I don't like do I don't nigga. I'm gone. Do you, Do you feel like that? And the one thing I, I, you know, I said, I was just like, you know, I guess people are going to do what they want to do. But like the, the gambling, see, when you have people at different income levels, like super rich people yeah. and guys who might, you know, maybe they got the 10 G's to throw on the floor, but they ain't got another 10 million in the bank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it can, I don't know. It just seems like a, a volatile situation. Yeah. That's why I just try to stay away from all that type of shit. What about Boosie? You you interact with like? Is, does he live yeah. here now? Where's he live? Or he lives in Atlanta? I think I don't know. He probably is down here a lot too. Though. Boosie though, this <laughs> nigga came up listening to Boosie, and then you know I got tied with D. Rogers, one of his artists. Mm. Shout out to Blood D. Rogers, you know what I'm saying? He tied me in more with him all the time. You know what I'm saying to keep the the ties in. 
So it, 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 as someone, and because this is true for me too, as someone that's behind the scenes, that knows a lot of people on a personal level, to see the way this stuff gets described on the internet a lot, and on the one hand you can say, oh, it doesn't matter, but it does in a sense, it makes people think things, it can make law enforcement think things. It's kind of ridiculous the way a lot, like the whole conspiracy theory of the idea like, oh, if you land in Houston, the Prince family is on you, or like, you know, people <laughs> talk about gangs and that, like, you know, all that stuff's real to an extent, but like, the idea that you just, oh, you just invaded, you better tap in, and it's uh, kind of weird. Uh, you made it. Yeah. It ain't like that, bro. People got their own ties with people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what it is. It's just like me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going nowhere without tapping. I ain't going to go to L.A. and not tap in with GCD. You feel me? It ain't about, oh, you got to go. He ain't tapping with GCD. That's your friend. Yeah. yeah. And my people. Yeah. So I feel safe over here with these people when I'm out there. You feel me? And if we, like, in the same kind of too. So, like, it's nothing. There's no pressure. You know what I'm saying? So it's just vice versa. All that other shit, there's just be extra people put on the top because they the scared when they... They can't see what it is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, but some people use, and I mean, I guess it's smart from their perspective in a business sense, but it's kind of, well, people are manipulative. I mean, like, there's people in, especially L.A. with the gang culture who like to, this blanket of fear you can lay on people, it's almost like the prison press play where it's like, okay, sir, you go down there and push him up against the wall, then I'm gonna come and, and get you up off of him, and then we'll split the money. It's almost like that kind of vibe. That shit, man. Nah, it's just real niggas fucking real niggas. He ain't none of it. <laughs> do, you, do you know why? Nah, I never met dude. I don't really care for him either. What just because of like what you see or you heard or just that, that what I just said they kind of using certain things. Man, I fuck with B.A. And he was that Cedar Block. Okay. And is he, he somebody I'm also B. in the that's industry? All, that's all I got. That's all I got to say. P. O. N. L. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> you just speak for yourself. I don't care about what they think be saying. He be on some bullshit. Uh, when's the last time you were out in Cali before you moved? Uh, I think it was close. Well, general, but one of the homies, Bundo. Oh, yeah, Bundo. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, yeah. The homie, I'm seeing, I had to fly out there, fuck on. LA got changed. Were you in the, uh, when did, when did we met right before the pandemic? Yeah. Before that. Yeah, boy, the pandemic really, like, I don't think L.A. really recovered. It's so expensive, and it's like a lot of people I left and ain't coming back. I live with that then. I don't really want to come back. I was, so I got some dough. Yeah, I'm like, well, we set up now in Houston, so. Especially your spot, your spot, nah. <laughs> yeah, I got, I still, I got a place in that building. I, I, I changed from the two floor to one floor, but yeah. it was a little... There's a little active in there. But I did that on purpose to kind of like get my L.A. experience so I could be upstairs working. I'll be like, y'all do what you want downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had the, uh, the recreation center on the first floor. Uh, Legend, what, what, any, anything we ain't touch on? Anything we should touch on? Good? Just, just, uh, Good for now? Uh, I want to go ahead and then for it. Sound out that Isaac and Moore. Oh, oh, uh, somebody you, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Houston is, um, you know, uh, 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 I always like to, I always say I support black entrepreneurs because they support me and uh, somebody outside of the, so, someone outside of the music is Isaac and Moore and that's a bag for him. Tell us about him and that's someone you, you all, when I first met you, you was talking about him and et cetera. They want and family. See, that's a prestige, man. You can't get that in. That's made just for you, right? Nah, I mean... Or limited, limited edition. The, uh, the, the idea of the... Kind of. You know, I mean, is that for sale in a store? Online. The store come and sold, but like... And he's got a lot of expense. Like, he just... we I, I went to his opening event the last time I was I mean, bro, like, my 10 years ago, too, like, bro, I already... He's a Houston guy, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, and like he already had like everything printed out on the laptop, like what he his ideal. I was just like, oh yeah, that shit hard. It just been fucking around ever since, and then he still even blew up. Oh, he's a designer. What does he be? He makes uh, yeah. just bags or clothing. Clothes, shoes, bags. He's got yeah. a store, right? Yeah. Where? Online right now. Didn't he have one in a before pandemic? He had a physical store, right? In yeah, gallery. He was building. He was building it. Oh, and the pandemic derailed. Yeah. Then he switched locations. What? What a legend, that! I'm sorry, his face. A sons. <laughs> nah, he can't sell his baby, man. <laughs> Oh, I thought that's what you was saying. Okay. <laughs> that's that's kind of that was I was surprised. Well, I took my nigga ill though, man. You know what I'm saying? Street my nigga Murdoch. I'm the Houston Murdoch though. Yeah. For, for those that like, know what that means, you do, and those that don't, won't. Nah, for real though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to my nigga Bundo, my nigga Boy Story. Okay, so Texafornia is coming soon. Texafornia with my nigga Freaky J. And then we just did a uh, GTV. I uh, helped out a little bit with the video. What's that song you and the freaky got? We got the baby mama. We got the four shots. Was the one you already did the video for? That's four shots. Where was you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the where was you? Show a little B-roll of that. And yeah, um, where can they find you at on social? Man, solid our money five nine man with IG. Really see it on our money on YouTube. All right, and then uh, all right, so. Shout out to Sergio Armani and all the people off camera. And uh, <laughs> we down here by the Galleria Mall, our prophet, H-Town, America Dopes. <laughs>